Hello, everybody, and welcome to the third webinar in the series Virtual Auto Application Platform for WordPress. Um, in this one, we will focus on the business aspect of the solution and more specifically on how to monetize it. My name is Nikola Nedev. I work at Virtuoso for over two years now, and I've been part of the hosting industry for over 17. Um, I work at the strategic development team, and I'm joined here by my colleague, Theodore Filipidis, who is a strategic product manager. And we will discuss today, and we will give you an overview of some real examples of WordPress hosting. Um, you will see how it is done on different platforms. Then we will talk a little bit more about actually monetizing and what the benefits of that would be, um, what the expected return of investment, some features that are included in our solution, what the focus on security and performance on our end is, then how to turn basically this next generation hosting into a profitable product and solution for your clients. And then we'll end with a Q&A session. Now, in order to give you um, an idea about the size of this potential um, for offering this type of a product solution to your clients, we want to take a, a step back and look at the market itself. So these numbers that you see in front of you are analyst numbers. Um, the total market cap of WordPress today is around $635 billion. So it is a massive market. There is a massive demand for it. Out of 400 million websites, about 81 million WordPress websites are actually generating revenue. And taking just a conservative number, of around 10% of those uh, websites, we believe that are a target for the premium WordPress um, solutions, which again, translating into money, into revenue potential for, for, you, for you and, and uh, for our other partners, this uh, will translate in around $1.45 billion. Um, and this is only taking a $15 average per month uh, charging for a website. And again, we're only talking about a very small portion of the market. We're getting, you know, we're going conservative on this one. So the potential is much higher, we believe. This is just for the 2% of all WordPress websites. So just to give you um, some idea, and obviously you are quite familiar, I'm pretty sure, with how WordPress is offered on shared hosting today, um, the most popular platform that WordPress is being offered on today. Um, you, we have a few examples from some of um, the top providers that, that do this. And what you can see is the small yield packages that are created for uh, WordPress hosting. So there is um, very small revenue, average revenue per user is less than $10 per month. So obviously that leads to um, slower return of investment, um, um, very low yield on the product themselves. The market is also very saturated. There are a lot of providers that are offering those low-end packages. So it is really hard for any either newcomer or even existing provider to compete with all these. So there are also very few bundling opportunities. There, there is no scalability. And let's face it, the market has been evolving in the last 20 years. This, these packages are by now outdated in, in our opinion. And that is one of the reasons why we decided to go for, uh, to, to create uh, our platform because of, on, because on shared hosting, you have this lack of scalability. Um, so you don't have a very easy way to migrate customers from one package to another, from one product to another. The quality is much lower and this leads to um, customer churn, this leads to unstable website and, and behavior because of the, the way that the shared hosting environment is set up. Security is also an issue um, with prominent DDoS malware attacks in the last years. Um, this is becoming a hot topic. Of course, it can be addressed with additional add-ons and features, but it is also difficult to navigate. And then, of course, you have very low flexibility which means that you need to support the platform, you need to manage and support a lot of the um, additional features and add-ons that you 
put there. So a lot of efforts on R&D teams. And just to, as a very specific example, uh, what happens when there is downtime because of some of those issues that I mentioned already, um, we brought in some numbers from the, uh, from the industry. Obviously, we don't expect uh, a lot of clients to be running the websites the size of Amazon. However, just to give a quick example also of some e-commerce sites, what a downtime per second would cost. And this obviously, considering that it comes from the end, end customer going back to, to the provider, um, this would result in, in poor reputation, again, in increasing the churn of the clients. And all this, including the other issues that we mentioned already, can be solved. There is a better way, is what we're saying. And the better way we see is also, does also already exist out there. And this is something, a, a solution that we also created. Um, but just to take examples from some, some other providers, you can see um, the revenue per user is much higher because of the pricing being much higher, obviously. The return of investment is much faster and better for the infrastructure because on the same scale, on the same um, hardware environment, you can set up much higher end packages. Also, you have improved security. You have also isolation, container-based WordPress um, that, that in, uh, allows for better infrastructure management as well. And, and again, for improved uh, performance for the clients. And again, you move away as well from this oversaturated market of the shared hosting packages for WordPress. So you can stand out easier from the crowd of the traditional hosting providers. Allowing to create a premium WordPress solution, besides the fact that it gives you um, better revenue per user, um, it also creates this, this better uh, customer journey as well. But you can see here as a simple example of Okay, on the same hardware package with, let's say, um, with a 50 gigabyte storage with an $8 shared hosting account, you can make five times or even more the revenue by offering a more premium solution. And just to re-emphasize again the huge growth that we see in this market, we took just one simple example from WP Engine, um, the commutative annual growth rate over the last five years in terms of customers and in terms of revenue is tremendous and it's only accelerating. So again, there is not only huge potential, but there is demand for these more premium and uh, uh, more flexible, scalable offerings today. And then we run some models, right? We needed to justify and prove that actually what we're offering to our partners makes sense that actually we we can um, increase the revenue um, that our partners make with 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 their uh, WordPress offerings today and as you can see on this graph we run um, some scenarios based on two and a half thousand WordPress accounts in a three-year projection and one of the reasons why there is almost a three-time difference versus what you can make out of uh, traditional shared hosting packages today is the fact that, as you can see on the left side, you can create much more medium and large packages and, and offers to your clients um, with our solution. And th because the demand will also be there for them because of the uh, all the scalabilities and all the uh, flexibility, all the additional uh, features and, and the way that uh, performance is made on this. Another thing that we want to emphasize is the fact that there are many native integrations included with our platform. Obviously, that means um, production ready, faster, go to market. Um, we continuously integrate new things. So that means that it's less effort on your development and your operations teams. And of course, the premium integration simply means that you can have much more solutions that you can add, decide to basically enable or disable, um, depending on the on the packages that you offer to your clients, giving you more options um, to sell more things. Another focus that we already mentioned uh, is on the security side. Again, um, 
in the last decade or so, security in general in the IT ecosystem has become a very hot topic. And offering a, a stable but also secure solution to clients is becoming extremely important. By default, they are expecting this to be there, but they're also specifically searching for a more secure environment for whatever they might be doing, whatever business model they might be running. And this way with our integrated light speed, for example, that offers protection against brute force attack or DDoS attacks. We also have a partnership with Bitninja. So we offer even additional features that you can, um, you, you can enable and add to, to the platform that, um, as you decide. And all based on operating system firewall. So you can also enable and disable depending on, on the the level of, of security that you want to offer for each specific package. And then something that you might have seen already on our technical webinars, the fact that our solution is providing much better performance, so allows for higher capacity and, and room, room for growth, basically. Um, also offering much fewer errors down to zero, which obviously results in um, you know, better customer satisfaction, um, less support issues, so let's work for, for uh, support teams on your end. Another, another big plus for the, for, for the solution. Um, and then obviously extending, being able to extend the portfolio simply by offering different packages um, and a, an improved customer journey because of the scalability, because of the fact that you can allocate more resources on the go without needing to uh, put uh, maintenance modes or customers having to upgrade from one package to another, moving away and giving them actually a chance to search for another provider in the meantime, um, you have better better ways to, um, to give to your team um, for upselling. And then of course, we want to make sure that you understand with our solution, comparing it to what exists out there with uh, Kinsta or WP Engine or other uh, providers on, on such um, premium WordPress offerings, we also have some key advantages over them. Because in a lot of the cases, when they want to create an even more premium uh, offering or a customer is interested in something better, they need to engage with, with the provider. They need to um, do um, some kind of a custom solution and so on. While with our platform, with the auto clustering option, with the fact that there is the self-service provisioning, um, the, the fact that the high-end packages can be created on the go, um, we eliminate this lengthy process and ultimately that results in um, you know, cheaper cost to, to support those clients and again, to improve the customer journey. So scalable pricing that others cannot offer is something that you can also uh, rely on in terms of our platform. You can set this up very easily. And then, of course, the fact that we support multi-cloud, also on-premise um, 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 setup, and um, you can give services to end users in the cloud or any way you want to. You can have private, public, hybrid cloud, and the fact that it can ad address more premium and can, can create more premium packages for agencies especially that would like to run things on premises is very important nowadays. And this is simply, simply because the fact that web development and web agencies in general are growing in the last five years. Um, as you can see here, for example, there is a 34% cumulative annual growth for web development in the last five years only. And this you can also see reflected in the offerings that most hosting providers um, do uh, these days. There are specific offers for web agencies. So again, having this additional plus from our platform, being able to provide a specific packages to web agencies is very important and um, would be very powerful. And then we need to touch just on the fact that you can create multiple options for pricing and different type of um, packages, whether they are fixed per subscription, whether they are only per resource, real resource consumption, because different clients have different uh, requirements and different business models. Um, 
being able to create flexible billing and flexible packages is extremely important and usually that might require a lot of effort but with our platform you can actually create this uh, in an easy and intuitive way and then i will turn to my colleague who will take you through a few of the integration options here theo whenever ready thank you nick hello everyone so here we can see that we have an official WHMS integration that it allows uh, auto refill option for the end users so they can configure automation on how they want to manage their account in their respective billing but also we support multiple payment methods trial periods and of course easy installation next slide please and of course we have very nice flow for for anyone who would like to have a custom billing integration it's really easy flow and we can give you an examples of how it works with some http post commands and to subscribe on some specific events here we have an example on trial to paid conversion and how the users can refile the account with a new payment method but also how they can refile the account with attached ex existing payment method and this ones of course we can always help you to make it happy easier next next slide and here we would like to stay a little bit more because we would like to give you an understand that you can leverage our engine technology and you can extend your own marketplace too and this is very useful for isvs for companies that would like to deliver their software through wordpress on as a software as a service solution they can really leverage all of this images they can extend our code and they can utilize it with the pure api as we will see on the next slide they can connect via api and also you can integrate this with your custom portals if you have something like this and also we give a capability to easy install via javascript our marketplace to any public website we give this ready to go but also you can customize the colors the user interface etc and of course we offer it a full white label solution you can deliver this to web agencies as an example and here we would like to say that uh, if you checked in the past year WP Engine have acquired the flywheel to integrate solution for web agencies so they will be able to build their final users. You will be able to deliver a full platform based on their own currency, their own pricing and also custom logos, custom domains and of course they can always leverage the API and many many other things like we said before. Thank you Theo. I was just about to actually run back to this point because I, I did forget to mention about the acquisition of Flywheel. So thank you very much for adding this. So ultimately, what does this all mean to you and why is it so important um, that we're bringing it up here? Um, the first thing as we already mentioned in the beginning, what we started with is that if you don't, if you're not on the WordPress market today, if you're not offering WordPress solutions, you're losing from this uh, 1.4 billion dollar market opportunity um, leaving money on the table basically for all the other um, providers and and uh, uh, isvs out there to to um, address this and to uh, to have uh, existing to to have clients on the platform um, obviously there is also churning from uh, risk from the existing clients because they are looking for such solutions today and yeah the the fact that you're not addressing the new clients of course it is possible absolutely to do wordpress on shared hosting um but it is again as, as we pointed out before in the earlier slides it, it is an ineffective model it is an outdated platform by now um in general shared hosting market we see it's it's declining there are there is more churn related to it and yeah this will result in slower and, and uh growth in for your business so the obvious alternative is 
selling a next generation WordPress solution. And we believe that we have developed the perfect platform for it um, that will allow you to create better packages for your customers, that will allow you this uh, faster growth of uh, revenue per user as well, um, better return of investment on the hardware because you can utilize your infrastructure in a better way, um, more clients, uh, and the fact that you know with all this scalability and 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 um, uh, flexible uh, uh, solutions and the additional features that we have that Theodore mentioned earlier, um, you will have many more options to offer um, to to monetize even the existing customers, just moving them to to this different platform. And yeah, um, obviously as as usual, if you want to find out a little bit more on this and um, I. If you want to have um, specific information regarding this package, just let us know. And now we will take some questions and I will open the question tab to see if there are any questions here specific. Okay, so the first one is if we're gonna have the recording, of course, we will send the recording to the uh, of this webinar once it is over. Um, and then how to buy the solution um well um as i mentioned before you can just you can simply reach out to us we have various packages um we have different uh, uh pricing depending on the on the on the business model as well as uh, your requirements um so it's always best to to discuss this and we will then share more details with you and i see no further question here, but maybe oh, one more coming in. Uh, okay, uh, sure. We will also put down your contact here from us, so you can reach, uh, we can receive some more materials from our end. Uh, so maybe I give it another moment for someone else. Oh, okay. So here are a few more questions coming in. What resources are available for web developers who would like to utilize the full, full potential of this package? Um, so we have quite a few resources available, actually, um, but we're also creating more as we go forward for our um, partners. Um, maybe, Theo, you would like to add something to this because it's related to the resources specifically for web developers? Yes, we have a full documentation for the API, of course, but also full uh, manual on how they can utilize our cloud scripting programming language. It's very easy and we have also some examples public, but uh, they can always leverage our uh, Git uh, repos that we have, of course, public and open source. They can get any package to understand how it works and after, of course, they can extend it as they need. And also we can give some sessions and, uh, and training how they can leverage the cloud scripting technology. Perfect. Thank you, Theodore. And then we have another one. Um, what requirements are there for making a WordPress hosting client? Um, I'm not sure. So in terms of the infrastructure requirements, um, we have, uh, again, um, documentation that shows this. We can send it after the session. Um, and in terms of the, the business requirements, um, we, we have packages that are starting at a very low tier. So um, there is no high cost, uh, you know, initial investment that you need to put in. But I would say it really would depend. I don't know, Theo, if you want to add something regarding the technical requirements here, but it depends the cluster size, of course. Okay. If you would like to achieve a high availability in the respect of underlying infrastructure, or you would like to have based on the clustered environments only. And yes, after this information, we can give you some estimations on how you can start. And of course, it's always been in place what hardware you would like to utilize. Exactly. All right, and uh, oh, one more just showed up. Um, so you're operating a small virtual cluster and would like to offer this WordPress hosting, but what would be the best way to proceed? Who to contact? Um, as I mentioned, um, it's best. So we, we 
left the the address here on the on the previous slide actually you can see you can just send this to us but if you're already an existing uh, customer you can also just reach out um, to your main contact with us um, and we will get back to you with um, you know with a suggestion to discuss this further so we can help you um, go forward with this and I think this was the last one. Oh no, sorry. There is more. Oh, we have new ones. Um, okay, so regarding the BitNinja integration, maybe Theo, you can take this one. Do you see it? Uh, the BitNinja integration is universal, so it's about, it's supported also on the WordPress platform as the Virtuoso application platform. Right, um, but the question here is that we deliver the backup add-on for WordPress in virtual application platform. Is there an integration of this tool with the BitNinja? Yes, okay, so yes, that's that's correct. And okay, so that's, I think this is all for now. Let me just scroll again if we missed anything. Yeah, I think uh, if there are no further questions, we'll wait another maybe few seconds and we will close the webinar. But yes, um, regarding the, the the contact, so first of all, we will send you the recording of this, this webinar to all the attendees after it finishes. And then you can always just reach out to us on this address here. And um, again, we appreciate everybody's time. I hope you found this session useful. And we're looking forward to hearing back from you and seeing you again on, on the next ones, and maybe someday in person as well. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, everybody.